Okay, now that I've grabbed the bl brain bleach, let's continue. Let me go ahead and demonstrate something here to you, Virgil. You might have forgotten this power. Watch very closely. Did you see that? Did you fucking see that, Virgil? What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for you? Looks like Tarant. I grew up here with Lawrence and my family. I have many good memories here. It is sad, though. I can see now that industry is choking this place. Wow. The, the attention to detail in Virgil describing the cities in different lights after what transpired. I really like that. Virgil has definitely become a better character for me. I, uh... I... I... Wow, I've... <laughs> Hold on, I... <laughs> I'm having a moment here. I really appreciate the character depth. That's not to say that the game's been flawless in portraying it. <clears throat> the last video's events, along with the rest of the, the campaign thus far, but... Still, this is meaningful. Well, I like that. What can I answer for you? So, Virgil, why don't you go ahead and give me your things? Like, we can, you can keep the keys. I know, key ring, blah, 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 look. I know about it, folks, alright? Key ring. You probably don't need these skulls, though. Just go ahead and like, let go of them. You, you don't need the elephant gun, either. You can keep the notes on you. Uh, I'll take the unidentified armor, though. You can keep Magnus's bracelet. And, uh, it's good to remember that other guy. You remember that other guy, Virgil? I remember that other guy. I wonder what would happen if I tried to bring him back. Oh, I made an enemy of life for him. So I can't see that being any good. I mean, the game said so itself. Also, I don't still need to have haste and active. But I do still regenerate fatigue slowly, even while inactivated, so that's pretty cool. Hmm... Maybe I need to add it to the bar here. Since hidden, divine magic. Oh, it's right there. That's since hidden, though. So not divine magic. Let's put it there for now. And let's use it on this armor. Really help Jormund out there, though. Let him keep all the magic stuff, too, instead of allowing it to collect in my fucking barrel of destruction. We left on good terms, which is... You know, to be fair, I did leave it, let Virgil keep this stuff, too, instead of uh, loading and taking it all. I'm a pretty good guy. I suppose that's why my alignment counter is the way it is. Right? I don't really want that damn newspaper, either. I'm sure it said something meaningful, like maybe Virgil's location. Oh yeah, there's Len Lenore's Legumes of Life and Longevity that I can use to resurrect, so I don't exactly have to buy resurrect scrolls. We have any scrolls in here of that? Do I have to buy? Okay, maybe not. How may I help you? Then I will do my... Isn't this Durant? Renford used to tell me... Right. I'm pretty sure I've heard that dialogue from you before. Let's go. Autobots, roll out. Hopefully the shop doesn't close by the time I get there. Note the professor dies tragically. Oh! Oh, someone reminded me uh, that there was a magic place in the back that I think I tried to win in, go, go into and never could. Uh, maybe Rafe the Mad? My apologies for not remembering the exact comment. But it's only open at night. This place. Uh, it appears that it is not sufficiently night yet, but uh, that's an idea. I could go in there while well, I'm in the area. Shall we barter? Do you have a scroll of resurrect? You do. I can afford that. I'll buy one. I know I have the legumes. But what the hell, we'll buy a scroll. 
I have plenty of mana potions. That'll be fine for me. Actually, what equipment did I put with you? Right, you've got, like, speed-boosting stuff. I guess I could have gotten you a necklace, huh? Could have done that. And you are just under your weight encumbrance, but that's okay. And you are just wearing a boring old emerald necklace. You know what, Virgil? I'll just leave it on you. You deserve to have fancy things in life. Who am I to stop you? Actually, I have to imagine we've got some necklaces. In the barrel. Amulet things. <sighs> Go ahead and make it news. Fuck. That is not... Well... At least it uh, allowed me to make a save with the same file name, so that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and advance time two hours. Place open now? It is. Hello. Yeah, that guy went back in here, and then this opened up. Oh, I see you have had much training, mage. It is an honor to meet a man of your power. How may I serve you? So to wares do you carry here? Carry items for offensive magic and dark necromancy. Enchanted staffs, scrolls, and potions, things a mage might require to act confidentially in any situation. Please look around, let me know if you have any questions. Let us barter. Bow of terror, shaman staff, quality staff, dread armor, gleams helmet. That's a helmet that I have on. Ah. Uh, Virgil. It's uh, not as exciting as I thought it'd be, though. I thought you'd have some cooler stuff. I could, uh, buy your robes from you. <laughs> oh, man. I blame Raven. She put my mind in the gutter. Oh, I don't think that was really worth waiting the two hours. We get to spend time together just talking, all of us. I like how fashionable Virgil is. You know, I probably don't need to have him hold all those keys. I... I am thinking about getting a key ring, okay? I, I, I admit it, okay? And then I just let it go, because I'm not going to get him a key ring. It's his punishment. You can keep carrying around those damn things. Okay. Do we have any necklace amulet things? We have a ruby one. The dowling of... Oh, Wait, right. Didn't I choose out of spite to put that in there rather than give it away? I feel like I did that at some point. Ah, what's the difference? I just flavored nicely. Okay. Well, Virgil. Why don't you go out on the prowl? I would want to give him the necklace of beauty than, uh... I mean, I'd still be more attractive than Virgil, but... Raven seems the type to, uh... Love easily. And we can't be having that. I guess I'll give this to uh, her. Uh, there's fan art, I'm pretty sure, and I can't remember who drew it. I know I have the na author's name attached to it. Of me just, like, chucking, like, a medallion of beauty plus two into, like, the barrel. <laughs> Instead of giving it to her, well, she looked around all sad-like. But yeah, sure. I mean, I'm still more attractive. Fifteen beauty. It's amazing. What a rumors game we got. Bunch of stuff from Alexander, I remember that. After inquiring about Elder... Personal measures, he was saying to control crime. Ah, oh, right. That's where my address comes from. I visited him. Yeah. Yeah. Got some botched quests here. Reputation. Friend of the Malachian Hand. Liberator of Mog Mallman. Because you killed Tval Nor and broke the spell that was enslaving the half-ogres of Senong, you have earned their friendship and the enmity of Senong. Haggle Master of Arcanum. Of course, I'm Destroyer of the Dread Crystal Spider, Champion of the Pit on the Isle of Despair, Savior of Bessie Toon, 
betrayer of Magnus Shalefist, and hero of Shrouded Hills. In game, uh, it's only been uh, hasn't even been that long, like a little over half a year. All right, let's uh, you know I'm I'm really riding on uh, these nifty ideas that I got. Let's go back to the crash side. Now, who the hell was it? Was it the guy whose body I uh, just started on? See, I can't remember his name. I think it was Preston Radcliffe. Well, we'll find out. What do I need on here less than anything? You know, I really haven't needed to, like, since hidden. That's a thing. This life cannot be replenished. Welp. That's uh, pretty definitive, huh? Hope you didn't want that scroll of resurrect. Cause he ain't coming back. I mean, I'm not surprised. I just thought that'd be really cool. Got a lot of information that way about from doing that, right? Oh well. I tried. I tried to have fun, but the fun police got in the way. Stupid fun police ruining my fun. Hello, guards. Nice lights. You know, all these damn people want me to help them with their problems. I admittedly have uh, lost my taste in side questing over all this time. Though, admittedly, I've also lost my taste in uh, digital role-playing games. I'm preferring, uh, far preferring tabletops. Wait! Do you see that man? The one at the front of the temple? Yes, I spoke with him before. That's Alexander! First acolyte of the Panari Church. I never thought I'd actually lay eyes on him. Well, what about him? The man's a living legend! Joaquim used to tell me stories about him. Not a nobler soul in all of Arcanum, it said. And he's a skilled warrior as well. Not the sort you want to tangle with. <laughs> I'm sure I could handle myself. Let's go visit people. Let's start with the gnome. Come on in, Raven. Hello there, I am honored. Hello, who might you be? The man in front of you is a wise and old gnome. With wildish gray hair and a beard three days grown. He looks up at you, grinning toothlessly. Call me Hadrian, acolyte of the Panari and the local expert on church archaeology. How might I help you today? Greetings, I'm Grimeth. Might I speak with you a moment? Certainly. Let's talk about your work. What would you like to know? Tell me about some of the objects you have here. Which one do you like to know about? Are they for sale? No, no, these are priceless church artifacts. I couldn't part with them for worldly riches. Uh, like to ask more of the objects? Let's talk about your work. Whatever. Oh, you know the remains of Nazardin. Remains of Nazardin? What would you like to know about them? Where are they? They are housed in the old catacombs beneath the temple. The first acolyte Alexander can direct you there if you have problems finding it. Have you seen them? His brow furrows. No, and I'd do anything to see those old bones of his. There are so many questions I could answer if I could only have a look at them. When he died, how he died. I want to know if his skeletal structure is the same as common elves, or if his prolonged use of powerful magics changed them somehow. So many questions, and I've never been able to see them. Why, Hadrian, you're the church archaeologist. Surely you... Yes, you'd think so, wouldn't you, old young man? He raises from his seat, gesticulating to and fro. I mean, when the elders need someone to go digging in the dank caves of the Bengalian Bang deeps, who do they call upon? Or if some poor fool comes across a tomb sealed with a Gorgothian blood curse, ring the bell for old Hadrian. Why won't they let you see the remains, Hadrian? I've no idea. He throws his hands in the air, upending a stack of papers and what looks to be a cup of dark ale. They speak of desecration and sacrilege, but... He lowers his voice, leaning closer. The man is dead. T-E-A-T. -E I respect and cherish Nazareth and what he taught us more than anyone, but I hardly think he'd be upset if I chipped a piece of bone from his earthly shell. I see your point. I myself would love to take a look at them. Really? His face brightens. Are you a fellow archaeologist, my friend? You know, I'm pretty sure Alexander told me not to tell these people about... Or at least I'm trying to think. Eh, 
when have I ever listened to what people tell me? The living one? You? He pulls back, crossing his arms. I think that's in very poor taste. Do you have any idea what it is that you're proposing? Yes, I know it's hard to believe. You know we were told to watch out for someone like you. The high priest said that there would be an imposter who would try to pass himself off as the living one. You're like I don't have you thrown in chains right here. Wait, Hadrian, this is important. I need your help. He looks you conflicted. Look, please, just leave. I couldn't help you see the remains in any case. I've never seen them. I'm certainly not going to let you. Okay. Right. Wait, yes? Listen, I don't know what to think anymore. I'm an old man and very set in my beliefs. It's much easier for me to think you a charlatan than the face the Arlatan. I understand, Hadrian, and I'm going to apologize because it's just socially required of me, even though I'm not actually sorry. If the remains are what you seek, he takes a deep breath looking around. You may want to wander around the local sewers. You never know what you'll find down there. Perhaps you could bring back whatever it is you come across. Perhaps you could bring it back for me to look at. I'll look around. If I find anything, I'll bring it back. A few general questions. Uh, oh wait, whatever. Not that I'm surprised. Uh, I'm pretty sure that because of his intellect, that I shouldn't tell him the story. Pretty sure Alexander warned me about that, but whatever, I did. Hello. Greetings, and who are you? The thin man in front of you is very properly dressed. Instead of robes, he wears a finely made suit. A pair of thin golden spe gold spectacles lie across his nose. His features are delicate, but his eyes belie strength of body and character, as well as harboring a fierce intelligence. He regards you intensely. You might. I am Wilhelm. Gunther Wilhelm. A pleasure, sir. What exactly do you do? Kala, here. I'm the church historian. I have a variety of responsibilities here, from translations to document restorations, as well as authentication of any literary finds. If it's written, and it has to do with the Panari, it's my job to know about it. Does that answer your question? Yes, and very well. A few questions. What would you like to know? Tell me some of your work. What about my work are you interested in? What are you currently working on? Gunther points to some books. Gunther. I mean, I, I mean, there's no umlauts over the U, so it could just easily be fucking Gunther. Gunther? Gunther? Who uses that name these days, right? <laughs> His movements are quick and precise. That is, uh, certainly one hell of a historian. Currently, I am doing some research on older translations of the Archaeon. I have found some interesting discrepancies that I am looking into. What is the Archaeon? The Archaeon, it is the collection of teachings and prophecies for the Panari religion. If you haven't seen it already, there's a copy on display in the temple proper. Yes, yes, I, I do recall seeing that. Discrepancies? There are a few differences in some of the passages that I found in this earlier copy. I'll give you an example. The Archaeon we read today refers to our order as the Panari. The word Panari in the old tongue means light servant or follower. But in this older copy I'm studying, we are referred to as the Pan... Which means defenders of the gate. Very odd. Interesting. Was there anything else? A few minor things. I'm still working on the translations. Perhaps that's something we can speak of later. Oh, well, sure. There's a statue in the courtyard. Who is that? That statue is a Saint Mannix, one of the early elders of the church. Why was he made a saint? Saint Mannix was the only person reputedly to have ascended. That is, the spirit of Nesredin appeared and took his body directly from this plane of existence to the next. You say reputedly, do you not believe? He smiles. There is no doubt in my mind that Mannix is a very holy man. My belief in an inconclusive set of circumstances does not invalidate that fact, regardless of how that might reflect on my own fate. Any eyewitnesses? There were two eyewitnesses to the ascension of Mannix. One was an elf named Randar, and the other, what was his name, Kanhua. Feels as if I've heard that name before. I believe. Their accounts of the incident were almost exactly the same, and both were beautifully written. A few more questions about Mannix? Do you believe in the Ascension? Yes, 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 yes. What else do you know about him? Almost all the records concerning the life of the great saint have been lost over the years. Very little is known about him or what he did before he was <clears throat> taken. Of course, there are the usual insubstantial accounts of miracles. He seems to remember himself straightening, and of course, there's Alexander. Uh, what does he have to do with this? You haven't heard? He almost never speaks of it. The man has enough humility for all of us. Alexander is a direct descendant of Mannix. His family has held the position of first acolyte for the last 1,500 years. Oh, no, I didn't know. It's quite a legacy. And a burden. Yes, it is. And there's no better man to bear it. Alexander is a saint in his own right. There are few men I respect, my friend. Alexander is a noble sort. Do you know anything of him? Tell me. 
Alexander hasn't always been with us here at the temple. You see, the first acolyte's role in any Panari temple is a spiritual leader and warlord. Symbolically, he is to assume these roles just as Nazardin did so many years ago. Most acolytes go into this very lightly. They might entreat the local constabulary. 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 Constabul. <laughs> I like rolling that name, that word around on my tongue. They train them in basic combat techniques. Constables. Not so, Alexander. Alexander left us for ten years and studied with some of the most feared and respected masters in several of the combat disciplines. For his pilgrimage, he traveled to the Vindegroff Wastes and lived there alone until he thought himself ready to assume his post. If you know nothing of the Wastes, know this. There is no more terrible place in all of Arcanum. So, he's a skilled warrior? I love how I'm talking to him with the door color. There is not a more dangerous man in all of Caledon, and he's very well versed in two or three of the magic colleges as well, as are all of us who are Panari elders. The temple hasn't been in safer hands since it was in those of the great saint himself. Uh, a few more questions about Mannix then? Or, right, uh, I'll see you know about him. My legacy. Some questions about your work. I have some questions about the remains of Nazareth. What do you know about them? Me, I know very little about them, save for the documents we have associated with the discovery, and a few research documents about the Sarkavius itself. Hadrian, the archaeologist, would have more information about the specifics. Do you think that they are authentic? To tell you the truth, I really don't know. I've done a lot of research into the engravings of the sarcophagus. Everything seems to be in order. It just seems to me that it's all very convenient. I mean, who buried him? We have no records of that. There's no doubt that an elf of his stature would have been given an elaborate burial, but who did it? We don't know. Uh, did the church record and records say anything? Yes. Let me see. Ah, uh, here we are. The elf's name was Kan Hua. Wasn't the person who witnessed the ascension named that? Why, yes. It's at least the same name. Let me look at the years. The discovery of the remains happened within a few years of the ascension of St. Mannix. I never realized that, but you're correct. That very well might have been the same person. Don't you find that strange? Perhaps a little convenient? You're very curious about the whole, this whole affair, my friend. What is your real interest in this? Well, I'm all about honesty today, so let's be honest. I see. Gunther studies you a moment calculating. You're telling me that you are the sole survivor of the IFS Zephyr blimp crash? Well, I really haven't gone around telling people that. But I am. Gunther is silent for a long while. Then a slight smile comes over his face and he takes her hand in his. I was wondering when you were going to tell me. I've been looking for you for a long time, you know. The rumors abound, and we'd heard you might come calling. I'm so very glad <laughs> this... I feel... <laughs> like... <laughs> I feel as if I've entered a fail state here somehow. <laughs> like, I'm playing a choose-your-own-adventure story, or like a visual novel or something, and then my character just dies. <laughs> <laughs> or gets enslaved, like mind wiped, thrown into the void. <laughs> well, tried to be honest. Thank you, anyway, though, that's. Yeah. Listen, my friend, not everyone here is sympathetic to your cause. Hadrian the archaeologist is the one you need to speak with, but be very careful. He's an old and loyal friend, but belief in you will come slowly for him. You'll be the best source of information regarding the remains and how you might see them, but tread life lightly. Subterfuge might be necessary. Yes, yes, I do fully recall uh, what Alexander told me. And, uh, I'm load fucking sticking with that. I'll remember what you said, though, and never mind the fact that I just pronounced myself. No, thank you, my friend. Return here when you've seen the remains, and tell me what you find. I may be able to help you once you know what it is you're looking for. I will, though. Goodbye. Anything else happening in here? I imagine that's this is these are the ways down. Ah. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy as I lie to one of the guards. Yeah! So consistent. Hey there, Alexander. I've been uncovering some strange things, Alexander. 
あドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥンドゥン I think I can, like, go down to the sewers, it was said. Uh, yes, I think I do this by going down into the sewers. I would need some pilgrim's robes. <laughs> or something. Isn't there, like, a sewer entrance? Like, yeah, there is. How about that? Now let's go party in the sewers, guys. Been down here before, as evidenced by the fact that it's all mapped. Have we mapped it fully, though? Like, I do recall having been down here. The sewers here are really big. Some barrels over there. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, there's some stuff over there that I haven't seen. The problem is, I don't know how to get to that. Map that out pretty fully. My best idea, I think, was to, like, try and wrap around to there. That clearly didn't. That's another ladder. Where did this go? What? leads to another ladder. What about down here? Down here led to this crap, which resulted in this dead end here with barrels. So in short, I don't fucking know. Huh. I mean, I guess I could kill them. Kill everyone. I was trying to, like, ask more questions about how to accomplish things. I don't think I've asked any questions about Aranax, though. Uh, has anyone ever been banished? Yeah. Gorgoth the Bane of Cree, Kurgan, and Krakatur. Tell me the Bane of Cree. I used to comment on my videos once upon a time. The Bane of Cree was a nomad warrior who was able to gather together nearly all the ancient nomadic tribes and create a vicious army out of them. When his army descended on the city of Cree, he mercilessly killed mercilessly killed every man, woman, and child that lived there. Nazardin was forced to confront him and banish him single-handedly. How about Kurgan? Kurgan was the very first mage to ever delve into the darker side of necromancy. Ooh. The Elven Council, when they found out what he was doing, demanded that he cease his studies. He refused, and they banished him. How about this Krakator? Krakator was a conniving, twisted monster, half man and half dragon. Half man, half bear, half pig, in the most impossible way possible who terrorized cities and villages, killing their inhabitants and burning them to the ground. With the strength of a dragon, but the dark heart of the of basis man, he was evil beyond comparison. After a colossal battle, he was subdued and banished, and the struggle he lost an eye, which is on display in the Office of Archaeology, if you're interesting. Uh... Gorgoth. It's a mindless beast with an insatiable appetite who cut a swath of destruction from one end of Arcanum to the other. Uh... Arnax. Who was he? An elf. A very evil elf. I feel as if I have read this stuff. Huh. Well, if I haven't, I'll go ahead and click through it. This all seems pretty familiar, though. Not so familiar that I remember it perfectly. Those are all the strange things I can apparently tell him about. Hey, Hadrian.
I've been told everything I can be told about the matter, which is unfortunate. We're also approaching the end of our time together. Hey! What if I put these on all of you? What is it that you want of me? I was wondering, like, if I could, like, trade with Alexander to get these things, or what? I need you to wear those. I mean, I probably don't have to have you How all may wear I help them. You? But I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we totally blend in. Hey, guy. Oh. These aren't pilgrim robes. They're priest robes. And here I thought that was just the game lying to me. See. Well, so much for that idea. I thought I was being clever. I thought this is what the game wanted from me. <sighs> yes, I know the video is going on for a while. I love how these all count as rumors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I totally use caution. He became angry and didn't want... I shouldn't have to load. I'll figure out a way down there. But that Hadrian might not. Yes. Good conga line, everyone. Oh, from one priest there came three. <laughs> Go ahead and end this video here. Gone on for too long. Yep, I saved over. It's, it's locked in now. That fucking archaeologist is gonna have to eat the truth. Instead of, you know, me just <laughs> omitting things. Nope. Honesty. Get wrecked, kid.